Hello everyone, I'm Farel Imran and today I'll be telling you about learning Python in 10 minutes. So what is Python? Python is a language that is interpreted, object-oriented and considered to be high level. It is one of the easiest and most useful programming languages which is widely used in the software industry. And Python was created by Guido van Rusum in 1991. Now this person is Guido van Rusum. He created Python. Now I'll be telling you about Python, the basics of Python and about it first. When you make Python, you make it inside the virtual environment. So dot V E N V, which is the dot virtual environment. So inside it, you click new and Python file. So you have to make it dot py. So Python file has been created. So there's a built-in function which is called print. It can print the uh, on the console. So anything that you want it to print, it will print it on the console. So if I say print 9 and then when I click on run, so you see here 9 has been printed. So this is the console and here you use the print function in python to print the thing so when you say like such as the hello world program so what you do you either add the uh, double quotes or the single quotes then you write hello and then after that you write world so after that when you click on run you see here hello world has been created so this is the first hello world program in python after that there is a thing called variable in python so variable is for example you add a name to it or you can add some letters but you cannot add a number for example if i say name equal to double quotes or single quotes you're writing for example katie okay so you're writing this name and he see here name is the variable and you can use it to print so if i say print name katie would be printing so when i click on run you see here katie has been printed so this is a variable um, but it cannot be a number so if i say like five equal to panda if i say here panda then when I click on run, you see here, uh, it cannot be equal to, so the variable cannot be numbers. It can be letters or it can be a word. Okay. So after that, if you want to know the data type of it, so there are four data types or more than four data types in Python. So the first one is string. So here you see the KT whatever words or numbers if you write inside enclosed in single quotes or double quotes so that is a string so if i say another that age equal to 9 or 99 if i'm writing this and if i say print there's another built-in function called type so if i say print type of age so you see here it says class string so it's a string but if you write just a number that's a whole number for example if you write if you write 56 so if you write the type of age so that is an integer so the whole number is the integer and here you don't have to specify the data type in python so this is age is 56 and the another data type is float which is the decimal value so if i say that height equal to 5.7 so if you say print type of height so that would be float so that is also a data type in python see here class is float and if i say if i say whether it's studying equal to false if i write this and if i print the type of it the type of studying because it's a variable so it will say it it's a boolean so the true or false it's a boolean see here bool is the short form or abbreviation of um, uh, the boolean so these are the data types in python and we have some more built-in data types 
the first one is a list so how do you make a list for example if i say i say lst i make a variable equal to then i write the square brackets after that i'm writing some numbers like 8 comma 0 comma 3 comma and then i'm writing some strings in it hi and then comma hello and then after that comma 98 comma panda okay so this is a list so what is a list so inside the whatever is inside the square brackets so that is a list and in the list you can add the integers you can add the strings you can add the booleans like such as true true are you e true and then you can write add false so you can add this and if i say print lst i'm going to click on run see here true is not defined so like to make it a boo you need to make it the caps in caps means the first word should be in capital that's why it would um, recognize it as a boolean so when i click on run you see here all these things are printed even a float you can add floats in it for example if i say 0 0.9 8.2 or 8.5 when I click on run see here all these are printed so you can any data type you can add in the list list are mutable means you can make changes to it and then but strings you cannot make changes to it variables you can make changes to it means same variables you can change it for example if there's this variable name is equal to Katie and if I change it to Lena So if I make this thing and when I click on run, this would be changed. And if I say print name, when I click on run, see here it has been changed. So you can make changes to the variable. So after the list, there is tuple. So if you write some integer such as hi equal to and then in the parentheses you add for example 7, 7 comma 8 comma 9 so this is a tuple and for dictionary you add the curly braces for example if i say g equal to then you add the curly braces and then you have to add the key value pairs for example one and then colon and then you add for example a string such as lena or tina okay tina then comma two and then colon and then if you write some name in double quotes such as gina okay so this is a dictionary after that in python you have the for loop while loop but first i'll tell you about the if condition so you use if for checking the condition so if x more than four and then you add the colon to it after that you say print yes so if i add this and if i'm adding some value of x if i say whether x is equal to seven so when i click on run you see here x has been yes has been printed so you can add if else so else if it's not equal to 4 it will print no so when I click on run so yes has been printed if x is 2 then it will print no so it's not more than 4 so this is if condition for checking the condition after that you have the for loop so for and then range function for i in range it goes from 0 0 is the default if you don't add anything for example if i say 6 and then colon print i 
so when i click you when you click on run you see here from zero to five it has been printed so that is all from my side thank you so much